Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the continue statement. Now what this does is, let's say you're making a for loop, and it's for num1 equals 1 to 30. Now let's say if num1 is equal to 23, then you don't want it to run that uh, iteration of the for loop. So it will print out, let's say we're doing console.writeline num1, and you don't want 23 to be printed out, you would use if num1 equals 23 then continue for so basically what that does is it skips that iteration of the for loop and moves on to the next one so uh, let's go ahead and make some examples of this so we'll type console dot right line normal for loop and we'll make a for loop let's just do 15 we'll do console dot right line num1 so basically what this is going to do is it's just going to write out 1 through 15 on our console now let's add a space here and let's do continue statement okay so now let's make our for loop that has the continue statement in it so we'll just start off by using the for keyword we'll create our num1 variable and we'll go to 15 now num1 can only be accessed inside of this for loop and nowhere else because we didn't actually declare it so let's go ahead and type a simple if statement so if num1 is equal to 5 then what do we want to do? We'll just type continue for. So what this is going to do is it's going to skip the iteration of num1. If num1 is equal to 5, it's going to skip whatever code comes after this. Now, here's a, here's a trick that I wanted to teach you guys in this tutorial. If you have an if statement with only one line of, line of code in between then and end if, you can just go ahead and take out end if and do this instead so if num1 equals 5 then continue for and by doing this you don't have to have the end if statement and your code is a lot uh, neater and easier to read so now that we have our if statement done we'll just do console dot right line num1 so if we go ahead and run this we're going to get in our normal for loop it says 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 you can see that all the numbers are there but if we come down here and look at our continue statement you can see it looks like all the numbers are there but we are missing a 5 in, in between 4 and 6 now let's do this for a couple other values So let's go ahead and create a multi-line if statement. So if num1 equals 5, then continue for. Let's just add an or operator. So if num1 equals 5, or num1 is equal to 8, or num1 is equal to, let's say, 12. So we didn't really have to make that multi-line we'll just go ahead and put this right after that okay so now what it's going to do is it's going to skip the number 5 8 and 12 so if we run this we're going to get 1 2 3 4 6 7 it's going to skip 8 you can see it skipped 5 and it also skipped 12 so go ahead and practice some continue for statements. You can come up with different ways to use it within your program. And uh, once you know how to do that and you're not going to forget it, then go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.